got no walking stick, and he don't need no ball and chain. If he ain't got no can to kick, that don't mean nothing to James. Oh, oh James singing, oh, oh, James. The people in the street, oh, the pouring of the rain. Is it a feeling in the heart, or is it something you can't name? Oh, oh, oh. Half a dollar coming to the painter, oh, the poet, all oh, the scholar. James, remember when we camped that night? The ground was cold, the frost was white. We laughed so hard, got scared as hell. And we ran so fast that we nearly fell down. Oh, James, singing, oh, James, pouring all the dreams into the passing of the days. Is it a feeling in the heart or something you can't name? Oh, in act. Now he must meet fate worse than death. Miss Mogar's modern history. Come. No. Come. Come. Ah. Now, class, can you tell me why World War II was the greatest war in our nation's history? Because it had the most people in it? No, Richard Gammons. World War II was great because of the great men who fought in it. Eisenhower. Patton. Nimitz, MacArthur, James Hunter. Uh, what were the immortal words, James, that were spoken by General MacArthur when the enemy drove him from the Philippines? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I shall return. Would have never let you be in World War II. Too chicken to talk to a girl. <laughs> Are you crazy? Hold this. I shall return. What was your favorite World War? Uh, one or two? Hi, James. Hey, Lace, hop in. Tommy, hi! Bye. Fortunately, the ever-ready James Hunter was at the scene of the catastrophe, and in his usual manner of cool efficiency and quiet valor, he acted with all deliberate terrificness. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation looks like the only answer. James, you saved my life. It was nothing, really. What about poor Tony? He never had a chance. Hey. You only like older guys. Who? Sophomore girls. Well, we're as old as they are. Yeah, but we're not older. But we will be. But then they will be, too, see? We can't catch up. We'll never get them. Well, I will. You just watch.
game. Good enough to put a meet. I put you in for the relay. Relay. Woo! <laughs> well, James Hunter, how does it feel to be swimming in the relay in the uh, first meet of the season, huh? Well, now that you mention it, uh, Richie, it is quite an honor for me. James Hunter to be the only sophomore swimming in the Tension, very Attention, please, first... everyone. The results of the balloting are in. The junior class has spoken. Their new president is none other than Tony Wheeler. Yeah. There's just one word that I can say, and that word says it all. Thanks. Talk about the Gettysburg Address. Yeah, that guy's really original. Thanks. That's some speech, all right. Too bad sophomore boys are too juvenile to understand anything. Who's juvenile? who took the action shots? Uh, who, me? Uh, in the paper? Yeah. Yeah, it was me. Well, let me tell you something. That was one heck of a shot. I mean, that was decent for a change. Real decent. Oh, yeah? Hey, thanks. That was a great game you guys had. Oh, heck. We couldn't lose against those turkeys, could we? Listen, you wouldn't happen to have any more shots. I mean, uh, I'd like to buy a few from you. Oh, no, no. I'll make them up for you for free. You do that? Yeah. That's class, buddy. Real class. How can you pitch me a curve like this? I wish you wouldn't get so upset about it. Damn it. I thought you were for me on this. I thought you were backing me on this move. I am backing you. Just that I'm concerned for the children. I mean, it's their lives, too, their you lives. know. You were the one that agreed with me it would be a great opportunity for them, right? It's just that we're always yakking at them about democracy and sharing responsibility. And then we didn't even let them in on the decision. Wait a minute. When it made you it behind their back. Me. We shouldn't get them all riled up until I was sure I got the appointment. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, babe. I'm not exactly over the hill yet, but I'm well past being the boy wonder of the academic world. We may never get another chance like this. You're right. I'm sorry. It's just that... I don't know. I was nervous and confused about moving to a foreign city. Foreign? We're moving to Boston, not Baghdad. Man, I'm...
Hollis. How you doing? The pits, James. The absolute pits. Gee, I'm sorry. I'm the one that's sorry. If you're going out with an older guy, I think he's doing you a favor. They're all that way. Older guys? They think they're hot stuff because they drive a car. Well, I don't drive a car. I know. You're a genuine person. I guess we won't get to go camping anymore when we move to Boston. Why not, Sandy? There's all of New England to camp in. The White Mountains, the Green Mountains, the Berkshires. Look, gang. We know that it's difficult for you to think about moving from a small town to a big city. But think of the wonderful opportunities for us. All of us. And besides, your sister Kathy's college is only an hour away from Boston. And we're going to be together, like a real family. We'll be like a modern pioneer family, you guys. Think of all the interesting places and things we'll discover together. Can't we just be a regular family? You ought to be glad we're not regular like everyone else. And you should be proud of your father. I mean, do you realize what an honor it is to be the head of the humanities department of a whole college? Didn't you like just being a regular English professor, Dad? Well, sure I did, Sandy, but this is a bigger challenge. More responsibility, more money. Besides, it's nice when people think you're good enough to take on a bigger job. Is it Harvard? Is that why it's such a big deal? No, it's Hastings, which is a college like Harvard is a college, but it's not as famous. But it is in Boston, which is a great city, James. It's an exciting city. It's like the Super Bowl of higher education. Home of the Red Sox. They haven't won a World Series since 1918. Well, when do we have to mess up our lives and move there? Not till the end of the school year in June. So you have all that time here to enjoy yourself without being yanked out in the middle of things, and nobody's lives are going to be messed up, James. Yeah. Hot dog. sister. You know, we have a lot in common, James. I know. What is it? We're both 15, and we're both adventurous. I love you. That's what else we have in common. I realize now I love you, too.
just love at first sight, Dad. Well, that's the way it was when I first met your mother. I mean, at least that's the way it was for me. For her, it took a little longer. How long? Mm. Until we got to college, a couple of years, I guess. Years? Most worthwhile things take time, James. You have to get to know a person, the way they are, the way the two of you are together. How can you tell? There aren't any rules. It's all different. For me and your mother, if I had to pick a moment, I'd say it was at a big formal sorority dance when she refused the wearing of my magnificent fraternity pin, which in those days was a sign of pledging eternal love. And we were in the middle of a slow romantic number, dancing cheek to cheek, and I let out the loudest belch of my life. <laughs> Nervous, I guess. Your mother looked at me in horror, and for a split second, I panicked. But then I was inspired. I put my right hand in my chest, and I said, be still, sad heart. Thank God she laughed. <laughs> Try to hang loose, James. See some other girls. Play the field. Play the field, huh? Oh, can you make it two in a row? I don't think so. Put it down. Oh, oh, yeah. Rip. Hey, there he is. Come on in, Flash. Okay, here. Sit down, grab a brewski. You know my pals here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. You brought the picture. It's great. Listen, uh, I'll be with you in a second. As soon as I finish off this bunch of amateurs here. Yeah. Amateurs, amateurs. Oh, rip the shark, huh? Let's see you sink that fireball. No way. No way. Sharp with the girls, too, huh? You have with that new red-headed cheerleader? Oh, no, no, no. She's not for me. Well, how come? Hey, she's a doll. Oh, no. She's too kooky for me. She thinks being careful takes away from the romance. <laughs> Wants to play Russian roulette, huh? That's right. And that's one game the old ripper here won't play. It for me. Rack them up. All right, let's see those pictures, all right? Took enough of them. Oh, this is nice. Real nice. That was the one where you went up the middle and made the touchdown. Oh, yeah, real nice. Gee. You got a real eye for action, don't you? Not just in sports, either. Oh, uh, Sorry, Rip, I don't know how I got that one mixed up with yours. Have a beer. I'm starved. Sit down. Uh, Rip? Yeah. I was wondering, uh, is there anything special you'd do to, uh, you know, uh, score? Well, you don't let up. You mix it up, you keep him playing defense. You pass, then you plunge. I met with girls. What do you think I just told you? Oh. oh. Right, uh, mix it up. Defense, pass, then plunge. Right, and always protect your flanks. I mean, no matter what they say, you be careful. Otherwise, you get mouse trapped. Trapped. You got it. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Right. I got it. James? Oh. Are you all right? Uh. Can you speak? No, I'm invisible. Go anywhere 
and do anything like you and him probably did. If you talk like that, I'll leave. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm even sorrier I can't get us a car. Hey, I can! <clears throat> get us a car. Come on. Excuse me. What's wrong? I feel silly. We're in a car, aren't we? We're parking, aren't we? Why does it seem silly? I guess it's because we're parked in a garage. Well, listen. Try to pretend we're on a lonely road parked on a windblown cliff high above the seas, just outside of Paris. I'll try. Sorry, Sandy thought she heard burglars. Yeah, well, we scared him away. You must be freezing to death. Why don't you come on inside? I'll make you some hot chocolate. A windblown cliff high above Paris. Are you, uh, almost finished? A couple of minutes left. You know, I, uh, I think it's time that you had uh, a talk with James. Oh, come on. Kids already know everything today. Well, how? I mean, Dear Abby or the Playboy Advisor? No, it, for heaven's sake, it's in the air. It's common knowledge. It's in the air. That's reassuring. Oh, all right, it's in the schools if you want to get specific. For heaven's sake, they show movies. What kind of movies? Deep Throat, Glass Tango in Paris? <laughs> yeah, silly instructional movies, hygiene, the human anatomy, the works. But maybe you ought to um, check it out with James anyway when you have that talk with him. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, with James, you making any first downs with uh, old Lacey there? First downs, nothing. I bet he scored. Is that right, James? Made a touchdown yet? Come well, on, James, you scored a touchdown or are you still kicking field goals? Come on, James. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right. You guys quit bugging me and promise not to tell if I tell you the most I did with Lacey. Yeah. Yeah? A lateral reverse, fake pass from a wishbone T formation with the flankers wide and a flare from the strong side. What? Oh, yeah. And a side of coleslaw. Go on. On the end. <laughs> well, I have some news for you guys. Good or bad? Well, it all depends on your point of view. Well, I have some good news. Kathy's coming home from college for Thanksgiving. That's great news. Yeah, but what else? Well, first of all, what I'm going to tell you was as big a surprise to me when I first heard it, as I'm sure it will be to you. Mm-hmm. Here comes the bad news. The man whose position that I'm taking in Boston was scheduled to retire next June, but he's gotten very sick and he can't come back, so instead of starting in the fall, the college needs me for the spring term. But that means we're going to have to leave in a couple of months. Why don't you just live in a hotel and come back on weekends? Sandy, that's 3,000 miles away. We're a family. We stay together. Yeah, sure, we have to. We're prisoners. James, you sit down and finish your dinner. I don't want my dinner. You ruined it. I would have started a shortstop this spring. You still can, but in Boston, Sandy. I hate the Red Sox. James, sit down. I want to discuss how wonderful it's going to be for all of us. What if we don't choose to participate? Don't you pull that big democracy stuff on me. You and your brother are going to sit there and finish your meal and behave yourself. You understand that? Young infidels must be separated! No! No! No, James! Don't worry, Lacey. They'll never separate us.
More tea? Yes. No, they tried to be sly about it and slip it to us over at Chinese dinner. I mean, well, it was one thing when they said we had till the end of the year, but now they want me to leave at the end of the semester. How can they do this to us? Well, they don't even care. We're like some kind of trained animals they have, like pet cats and dogs they haul around. I mean, that's about how much say we have in things. And you know what? I'm going out now, dear. Okay, Mom. Are you and James study hard? Yeah, Mom, we're cracking the old books. I'm going now, but I'm not going to be gone too long. We got the message, Mom. They don't even give us credit for knowing when they've got us trapped. Ah, yeah, well, to hell with them. There ought to be a liberation for minors. Like a movement. Minor minority rights. Yeah, we'll show them. Except we can't vote or scare anyone. And if you can't vote, you, you can't scare anyone, you just can't get a movement off the ground. There's so many things we could have so much fun doing together. Yes, but they just haven't given us any time. What can you do? Strike. Sit on my can. Get fried. I won't study for them or, or swim for them or stay nice and healthy for them or anything else for them. Well, what time we have, we'll do what we want, not what they want. Yeah. Well, think of it like a war, like people in the midst of a war, you know? There's only so many weeks till Paris falls. But till it does, we're gonna live. Lacey sure is a cute girl, James. Yes, sir. James, would you please knock off that sir stuff? I'm a person. You're a person. I just happen to be the person who is your father, and while you happen to be the person who is my son. Looks like that's how it is. That's how it is. You're not a kid anymore, James. Someday you'll be a father and you'll have children. But not right away. I wouldn't want you to get into that scene right away. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Sure. Well, as they used to say in the old days, be good. And if you can't be good, be, be careful. careful. Yes, sir. Hey, James, aren't you going to play some ball? I got to get all this stuff loaded first. Give you a hand. Thanks. Guess it'll be pretty tough when you move to Boston. You don't have any friends. Well, I'll get some, I guess. It'll probably take a long time. But at least while you're lonely and miserable, you can think about all your friends back here like me. Thanks, Richie. You know, you really are a good buddy. Yeah, only a real friend would hang around a friend who spends all his time with some girl who doesn't have any time to spend with his friends anymore. Well, a real friend would understand how a guy wants to be with his girl when he has to leave her soon and go live in some dumb, stupid city a million and a half miles away. Might as well be a million and a half miles away. It's on the opposite side of the country. But it is still in the same country. So what? You go the other direction that far and you're almost in China. India, maybe. Going that far, why don't you go to school in Calcutta? I'm not going to school in Calcutta. I'm not even going in that direction. Well, you might as well be for all we'll ever see you. Why don't you go live in Spain, take up bullfighting? It's Torador. It's Toro. It means bull, and that's just what you're talking. Look, I'm just telling it like it is, like a friend. Probably never see you again. Maybe some old-timers reunion. Probably be too deaf and too blind to see you anyhow. You think I'm not coming back? Even to see Lacey? You think I'm just gonna leave and forget about her? Well, it just so happens we're in love. You know what the old saying is, out of town, out of mind. You got it wrong, buddy. You got everything wrong. You're just mad because I got it right. Lacey loves me. Here today, gone tomorrow. You thief! Right now, everybody, hold it and cheese. Oh, yes. Everybody, have enough.
turkey? My yep. favorite holiday. Oh, well, you know, I like this. Oh, oh, thank you, darling. Oh, I don't yes. like this so much. Me. Me. You made enough cranberry sauce to feed an army, you know that? Yeah. My plate's not big enough. Just yeah, keep pouring it on. Yeah, you know, second, you don't have to have the first time. Thank you. Oh, delicious, delicious. What's oh, a piece? I'm not ready yet for that. Do you want some dressing? Yes. Here. I'm going to reach for them. Who made the dressing? Now. I have. You did all the work. Now, before we stuff ourselves into oblivion, I think we should all be aware that despite a few problems this year, we have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. At least Kathy's home. Why, thank you, James. And better still, she'll be able to come up from college and visit us all the time when we move to Boston. That would be wonderful. It's just that I might not be there next year. You're not dropping out. Well, you're not flunking out. You're going to have a baby. No, please, listen. I've applied for this exchange program where you get to study for one year at a foreign university in an emerging nation. I don't believe it. Well, do you get to choose which emerging nation? Well, my first choice is Zaire. Oh. Where is it emerging from? Africa. Maybe we should all go, instead of Boston. Paul, what are you doing? Right now I'm standing up. My plan is to go lie down. Honey, please sit down. Come on. It's still Thanksgiving. Yeah, we ought to be thankful that at least Kathy gets to do what she wants to do. James. Be thankful that whatever we do or wherever we go, we're still a family. Thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you said that. Here. Oh, thanks, James, but I can do it. Oh, well, that's all right. Everyone else is sacked out. Snoring, even. It's Thanksgiving, part of the tradition. Yeah, I guess. Are you really going to school in Africa? No, oh, not for sure. I'd have to get the grant and a lot of people apply. Oh. Well, I hope you do. I mean, if you want to. But I wish you'd be around, sort of. In general, or is there something special? Well, I don't know. Cat. When you're a girl, did... You mean I'm not anymore? No, I mean... I mean, when you first started going out with guys and all. I mean, when you first really liked one. Yeah? Well, what I mean... I mean, well, you know what I mean. I think I do. I think you're probably confused. Like everyone when this glorious new feeling comes to you. You want everything to be right. Not just for you, but for the other person. And you wonder if there aren't any special secrets or handbooks or manuals about it, like electronics made easy. Oh, well, yeah. Well, but there aren't, old James. The best you can do is be natural and considerate and don't force anything. I mean, as much as you can, make it mutual. Mutual? Yeah, together, in concert. But if you don't have a car, where do you have the concert? It's a good question. Hey, babysitting is the best. Beats the backseat of cars, anyway. We just have to be quiet, you know, not to wake dear little brother Henry. That's okay. I'd rather whisper than freeze. And we have at least another two hours before my folks come home. And you don't have to worry. This man protects the woman he loves. None of this crazy Russian roulette stuff. My darling. My genuine love. Take that thing off, Henry. You're supposed to be sitting with me, not sitting with him. Well, you're supposed to be in bed asleep, you little nerd. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you both to mom and dad. What'll it be, Henry? Reruns of Gilligan's Island or Love American Style? I'd rather watch you.
And what was the key to the Allied victory, class? The greatest military victory in history. And what was the key to it? The Blitz. That was the Nazis, Richard. They were on the other side. The key to the joint Allied victory was planning. Without successful planning, all the guns and bombs would have gone for naught. Now, class, what was the key to victory? Planning! When I camped up there with my parents last summer, we drove out the interstate. But with bikes, I think it'd be better to go out old Route 6. It's just about oh, four miles, and we go left on this old dirt road for about a oh, half a mile. And there's this pile of stones right about here that marks the secret trail up Mount Casanova. James, when you camped there before, it was summer. Won't it be awfully cold now? Sure. But that means there won't be other people there. That's right. And if we have to freeze to be alone, we'll just freeze. We'll do whatever we have to. Nothing can stop us now. We're in love. Prepare for entry. My darling. My sweet love. Your teeth are chattering. Well, I'm freezing. I'm cold, too. I should have built a fire. I would have made things cozier. Oh, no. What's wrong? I forgot something. I mean, I left it in the knapsack. Well, if you go out there now, you'll freeze. Don't worry. I shall return. You did freeze. Well, I'll thaw. You know, I think the big flaw in our plan, though, was the weather. Like, the cold can whip anyone. Like Napoleon and Hitler being beaten by the Russian winter. 
And that's why the Allies had D-Day in June. I think all we have to do is have our same plan, only when it's warm out. But she'll be gone then. Well, I'll come back. I'll come back to see you in the spring and, and get a job for summer. Really? You will? Will you wait for me? I mean, will you really wait till it's warm? Of course I'll wait. I'll come back the first warm day. The first warm day here or the first warm day in Boston? Whichever comes first. Well, how will you know? I'll watch the Today Show when, when they have that national weather map. I love you, James. Lace, I love you, too. Look so easy in the movies. Oh, yeah, well, in the movies, they either have a terrific bedroom with silk sheets, or they have this terrific field of daisies in the summer, and a lake so you can take your clothes off and go swimming first. That's right. They don't have to shiver in a sleeping bag in the woods on a cold day in the mountains. Is that? All the stuff off the back porch? Yeah, this is it. You found my football. That's the last of everything from upstairs. Probably be a snob living in Boston. Yeah. Well, at least I won't be a hick. Snob? Hick. Let me up. I'll be late for school. This time, I give you your freedom, Redskin. Next time, I have your scalp, pale face. See you, Rich. Later, James. Lacey. Five more minutes, James. You're not going to school? I didn't think I could think. Come on inside a sec. Sandy, what are you doing? I can't find my knee pads. Oh, honey, I assume they're packed. You weren't planning on wearing them, were you? Now, come on, get in the car. Hi, Lacey. Bye. Where is the thermos? It's in here with the apple. Lacey, tell your parents goodbye. Lacey, thank your mother very much for the brownie she sent over. James, we really have to be going. It looks like I feel. Maybe I could hide out someplace. Deserted farmhouse or something. You just get arrested, James. I guess we can't beat them. Too bad your family had to move, James. But it was sweet of them to leave us the house to live in. Yes. When I told them that these were the only conditions under which I'd finish my education, why, well, they simply had no choice. Let's have some hot buttered rum, James. We'll drink by the fire, and then go straight to bed. Just stay there, just like that. I want to get your picture there, just like you are. waiting for it. Well, I'll be back, Lace. When it's warm. When it's warm. 
Well, I love you, Lace. I love you now and always. For keeps. There goes the Chinese restaurant. There goes Herman's Superette. Hey, you guys. We're off on a great new adventure. Think of that. Think of what lies ahead. Don't look back. There goes the town. I shall return. like your father explained to you. Come on, gang, let's have an open mind. My mind's a blank. I hereby christen our new home with its first fire. May we have many more and much warmth and brightness in our new life. Here, here. I'll drink to that. <laughs> and may we also have heat, hot water, and electricity. They'll all be here by this time tomorrow, Sandy, so try and be brave. Why couldn't we have just got the same kind of house we had back home, instead of this weird kind? You know something, James? I think this move is going to do you a lot of good. You're turning into a regular reactionary. What'd you call him? A stick in the mud. That's right. He never orders anything but vanilla. Yeah, and it's always better than that weird ripple crunch goof stuff you order and can't finish. Why don't you just finish your submarine sandwich? This isn't a submarine sandwich. It's a hero. In Boston, they call them submarines, or sub. I couldn't care less. You'll care when you meet some girl like Lacey in school here. And you want her to think how Lacey used to think about you. Used to think about me? Lacey still thinks that way about me. And I still think that way about her, and we always will. And I couldn't care less about some stupid Boston girl who thinks heroes are submarines. Hey. Thanks, Mom. In an amazing display of support for a new student, these supposedly jaded big city kids have turned out to show their appreciation for James Hunter. James, James, he's our man. He can do it. I want to thank you all, and I want to pledge that I will perform here to my fullest ability as athlete, scholar, and friend to all people. here. He's just new, right, kid? Yeah, I just got here from Oregon. Oregon? Don't pay any attention to him. Listen to me. You want to start out right here. Just 
split for today. Show up tomorrow in a nice tie and jacket. You'll be just like everyone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, thanks, you guys. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it, Ace. Sitting here in this historical Boston graveyard where all these famous dead guys are buried, like Paul Revere and Samuel Adam. Wish you were here. Even better, I wish I was there, back with you in Oregon. Of course, I'm still coming back, the first warm day. What do you figure warm is? Above freezing? Ha, ha. See you soon. Love, James. Did you explain the dire nature of our flight to the moving company? I called them four times yesterday. What am I supposed to do? I could call the Justice Department. Well, you better do that, because I need my football stuff. This girl I sit by, Amanda, she plays pulling guard. She's terrific. She chews a whole pack of gum at once. That's wonderful, Sandy. James, did you meet anybody new at school? Well, we got out early. Listen, speaking of school, you better hurry it up. It's late. Sandy, don't forget to brush your teeth. I better go, too. James, don't you have some books you have to take? Uh-uh. I can't go. What? I can't go to school. Why? Why not? Because I don't have a jacket and tie. What has that got to do with it? You gotta wear a jacket and tie at this crummy school. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. All the kids had them on except me. But why didn't you tell us yesterday? Why, well, I, I thought the moving van would come with all our stuff in it. Well, that's life. All my stuff's on there, too, except what I have on. Better take it off. What? So he can have a jacket and tie, so he can go to school. Uh, that won't fit me. It doesn't matter. It's more important that you have it than to miss the first days of school. Right, Paul? This is gonna get them off to a good start, I suppose, huh? It's gonna be a couple of miles too big. You just stand up straight and hold your shoulders back. Nobody will notice. Oh, yeah. Nobody will notice. Hey, look. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, everybody. Get a load of that disguise, will you? Hey, kid, what's your thing? You play ball, play cards, crack the books? Can't do nothing, huh, kid? Well, I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> can swim? What do you say we throw him in the child? See if he can. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you swim for real? Well, I was on the team where I went to school before this. Out in Oregon. Why don't you go down to the pool then and try out? Where is it? In the gym. Where do you think? Uh, yeah, I figured. I mean, where's the gym? Over in the Fenway, across town. Well, why are you here at school? No room, man. This is the big city. Where do you come from? Some little small town school in Ohio. Oregon. You got any bloods down there? Bloods? Yeah, bloods. Like brothers. Like me, black. Well, sure. Of course we had them. Where you have them? You keep them in a little ghetto down there? No, on TV. That's where we had them. Too much. You keep them locked inside a little tube, huh? Uh, well, no. 
I mean, I didn't mean that that was the only... Hey, it's cool, man. I was just kidding. Now, I wanted to cue you in on something, too. That jacket and tie bit is just for the first day of the semester. Oh. Hey, thanks a lot. No sweat. Talk to you later. Uh-huh. Hey, well, how do you get there, though? Uh, cross town to the fender. Unless you got wheels, you take the T. How else? Fenway Park or Fenway Station? Uh, I don't know, either one. Take the Riverside Line on the Green Line, not the Red or the Orange Line, and don't take the Arbor Way on the Green Line. Then get off at Fenway Station or Kenmore Station and walk over to the Fenway. I'm going to miss my train. Check the map, son. Cheers, please. see you, Mr. Hartridge. Uh, you found him. Have a seat. Um, James Hunter. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Hunter, James, let's see. I don't seem to find you. I'm new. From Oregon. Ah, that must be it. What? They probably want to assign you to the learning center for a while. What's that? Oh, it's a nice setup where students have a chance to catch up in areas where they've fallen behind. Oh, you mean it's for dumb kids? No, 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 not at all. In the Learning Center, you can get special help to fill you in on where our own programs are moving. Special help? We all need help from time to time. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. Sure. I mean, no. Wait, let me explain. I forgot something. What? I forgot my little sister. I left her in an all-night movie. And she can't speak English. 
Sam Hill was I supposed to know? The moving van was going to be here this afternoon. Why didn't you call me at the college? I did. I waited 20 minutes while some woman looked for you and came back and said you were unavailable to come to the phone. Well, nobody ever gave me the message or I would have come home, obviously. No, well, it would have been too late by then. The banks would have been closed. Why didn't you write him a check? That's the whole point. They insisted on a certified check or the exact amount of money in cash. I can't stand it. Well, I just have to go down there in the morning and get some money. What time would they do tomorrow? They're not coming tomorrow. They're going to Baltimore. Baltimore? Baltimore? We don't live in Baltimore. It's all right. The Browns do. Who in the Sam Hill are the Browns? The other people whose furniture is on the van. Why couldn't we have found a place in the suburbs? The suburbs? What's wrong with the suburbs? Well, we've been over this 50 times. It's a cop-out. What is the use of moving to a great city if you don't live in it and open yourself and your children to some new experiences? Listen, it is difficult enough moving after 17 years without putting our children through this. I mean, it would have been easier in the suburbs, especially for James. Now it's just like a kick in the pants. Well, that's nice. I'm just trying to do something to better my family and you accuse me of brutalizing my own children. volleyball mine. Well, thanks, Sandy, but I really don't think I'll be needing it. It's got money sewed in the lining that I've saved for my paper room. $37.43. That's great. Now I'll be able to take a bus part of the way. Thanks. It'll give you a quick getaway. Well, they won't know I'm gone right away anyhow, because tomorrow's Saturday, and they'll probably just think I'm sleeping late or something. Does Lacey know you're coming? Not yet. I'll have to call her along the way. What do you and Lacey do? I've told you too much already. You don't trust me. I do. But I don't trust them. I'll never tell. They have their ways. I swear my oath. What oath? My sacred oath. That I'll never squeal. No matter what they do to me. No matter if they won't sign my permission for football ever again. I'll become a free agent. Okay. My plan is, I'll go get Lacey and we'll go live in Canada. How come there? Well, it's a good place to flee. Like the guys against the Vietnam War. They went there. Oh, yeah. We had it in social studies. And besides, there's lots of wild, open country there where we can build our own log cabin and live off the land and do some hunting and fishing. Can I come and visit? Sure. You can stay in the guest room of the log cabin. Thanks. I'll write when I get it finished. Good luck, James. And stay away from the preverts. Yeah. You take care, kid. Thanks. Out with it, Sandy. Where is James? I am not at liberty to reveal my brother's Sandy, whereabouts. if you know where he is, you have a moral obligation to help us so we can help him. I can't. Why not? I took a sacred oath I wouldn't. And a sacred obligation beats a moral obligation. We're not playing poker here, you know. Sandy, I'm glad that you understand about things being sacred. And I, I know that you'd want to help James if you thought he really needed it. Well, what if he just wants to run away? Sandy, he's never done that before. He might not be very good at it. What do you have to be good at? There's strangers out there who could be mean or dangerous. Honey, he could get hurt in a lot of different ways if we don't find him. Well, I can't really tell what I promised not to tell. But I guess I could give you a hint. Okay, here's the hint. The certain boy I know has this plan to go back to where he used to live and get the certain girl he used to go with. And he'd take her to Canada. And they'd build a log cabin in the wilds, hunt and fish, and sometimes I could go visit him and Lacey when he builds a guest room at the log cabin. Thank you, Sandy. I think you really helped by giving us that little hint. I didn't break my sacred oath. As a matter of fact, I think in the very best sense you kept it. What do we do now? Try and find James.
I have returned. How was your day, my hero? I have captured the infamous Bobby Orr, my love. Okay, remember, folks, just 10 minutes. Bus pulls out in 10 minutes. Ladies. Operator, I'd like to make a person-to-person -person call to Miss Lacey Stevens at area code 503-689-2104. Thank you. Oh, and reverse the charges, please. That's from uh, MacArthur, uh, Mr. Douglas MacArthur. Who is this? Lacey, it's me, James. James? Who's Mr. MacArthur? Well, you know, uh, General MacArthur. The guy we studied in World War II history. The guy who said, I shall return. Remember? Well, I'm just like him. I said, I shall return. Well, here I come, returning. You were going to come in the spring. I couldn't wait. James, you said spring. I'm awfully busy now. Now, uh, with school, you mean? Partly. Well, what else? You remember your friend Rip Lindemann? Sure. How is old buddy Rip? James, he's heavenly. We couldn't help it, James. It just happened to us. It was magic. On board, everybody. <sighs> Let me out. Dude, you don't get off here. Yes, I do. Okay. Get moving. I'm going to Canada. Oh. Well, uh, that's not too cool to advertise. I mean, if you happen to be underage, by any chance. No, I just happen to be a hockey fan on my way to Canada to, to see the Canadians and the Maple Leafs play, as they've always been my favorite teams, and hockey's always been my favorite sport except for basketball, and, well, there I'm a Trailblazers fan. You don't have to tell me your life story. I just want to help. Why? Because people on the road help each other. How? Well, to start off with, I can help you get a ride a lot quicker if we team up. Why? Because 
As dismal a fact as it may be, it's pretty hard for a guy alone to get a ride. It's easier if he's got a girl with him. Yeah? And um, equally dismal, a girl will get a lot less hassle if she's with a guy. Hmm. Besides which, we seem to be going in the same approximate direction, more or less. Well, what do I do? Well, if you stand up, that'd be a help to start. Here. Thanks. Well. I'm Robin. We partners? Well. I'm James. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Well, never heard of a girl forest ranger before. What do you have to do to be one? Well, besides uh, college degree, you have to have um, animal training, uh, marksmanship, archery, and karate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, uh, I have an idea. Why don't we, uh, why don't we all stop at a nice motel and, uh, we can all have dinner. Thought we could go watch some TV. And, uh, you and me could have a few laughs. <laughs> well, I really don't think we can. Can we, Horace? No way, sis. I, I just remembered. I haven't had my injection yet today. We have to find the nearest hospital. Injection for what? My disease. Yeah. <laughs> Disease? What disease? It's very rare. It, it only runs in our family. Yeah, that's right. It, it's terrible. Sis has it, too. Only she only needs her injection every other day. <laughs> yeah. Or I need mine every day. Lucky for me you remembered, Horace, because you know what? Uh, look, look. If the symptoms come over and just don't, don't pay any attention. Symptoms? Oh. What kind of symptoms? Well, if... Oh, no. Oh, Horace. Oh, Horace. You better pull over. You better pull over to the side of the road. Horace. How do you find these places? Mm, deserted barns. Well, you go on the road with your thumb long enough. Learn how to smell them out. What, do you just drop out of college when you go on the road? Just for a little while. Then I drop back in. Like this time. Where you been? Chicago Art Institute. I went there to look at a painting called Clouds by a lady named Georgia O'Keefe. You went all that way just to look at a picture? You don't really look at a painting like that. It teaches you how to see. I only look, I guess. No, don't give me that. You got a camera. Yeah, I used to take pictures. You don't anymore? No, I don't know. Ah, oh, come on, come off it. Take a picture, mate. Come on. Oh, uh, hold it. Yeah, see. Here. Best of all, if I could spend it, me too. Come on, I'm ready. Did you really want to do that, James? Oh, I thought I was supposed to. Oh, James, oh. you thought you should do a macho number. Come on. Oh. Don't ever do anything just because you think you're supposed to. I'm sorry. I guess I mess everything up. Oh, come on, James. Spare me the suds. You do. You're better than that. I don't know. Well, I do. Why don't you get a good night's sleep? And tomorrow you can use your camera. And your head. And besides, you gotta remember, you're a very sick boy. Oh! 
Very sick boy. <clears throat> so you thumbed all the way from Vermont to out to Pasadena, California? Well, yeah. It wasn't a direct trip, though. I stopped in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to see my mom and her new husband. And I stopped in Albuquerque, New Mexico to see my dad and his new wife. So I had a lot of momentum going. And uh, it was the holidays, and people were full of one kind of spirit or another. So it was pretty easy to get a ride. Come on. Did you see the Rose Bowl? Not the game. I really don't dig people knocking each other around, you know? I caught the parade, though. That was pretty neat. I tell you what the best thing was. The museum there had just gotten itself over 300 Goyas. Who's that? Another artist? Yeah. Come on. Hey. Table for two. before lunch? Uh, great idea. Well, come on. Okay, you ready? For anything. Aren't you going to try it? It's really good stuff. What is it? Doesn't mess up your head or your lungs. <laughs> Gives you a terrific appetite, too. Let's have lunch. Me and my sister Kathy. Oh, yeah? How's that? Looks or deeds? No, well, deeds, I guess. I mean, she sort of does things the way you make sandwiches. No horsing around. I like that. You know what else? What? I think Kathy's lucky. I don't have any brothers or sisters. Well, you'd be a great sister. Well, since we can't be that, why don't we be friends? I mean, real friends. Sure. You ever had a girl for a friend before? Well, yeah, I've had girlfriends, like Lacey. No, no, I don't, I don't mean girlfriends. I mean a friend who's a girl. I guess not. Now well, it can be a really nice thing. Friendship's a really important thing, you know, James? It can be a really nice thing for a guy and a girl to be friends, not lovers. Just friends. They can help each other out. They can talk to each other. Sometimes it's easier for a guy and a girl to talk than it is for a guy to talk to another guy or a girl to talk to another girl. They don't have to do numbers on each other like it was some big romantic thing. They were going to impress each other. They can relax, you know? They know they can count on each other. Could I be your friend that way, Robin? I think so. Yeah. You're on. Save your own skin, Robin. You can't stave off the forces of the king and the sheriff of Nottingham for us much longer. No, little James. You sneak off and carry on our noble work. Never. We'll fight them together until the last arrow. One for both and both for one. Hey, 
James, you better get with it. Terrific afternoon's a good time to travel. Hey, picnic. Never could pass up a picnic. Anything left? We were just leaving. Uh, rules of the road, James. We all share. Hey, great. Thanks. Special of the day is uh, bologna on whole wheat with mustard and mayo. Your genial chef is Robin and your dining partner is James. Nice meeting you, have Tiger. What are you, some kind of boxer or something? Nope, just fast on my feet and home in the jungle. What, the hobo jungle? I mean, with tramps and like that? To me, kid, jungle means anything wild and natural. The sea, the woods, anything that hadn't been killed or covered up with concrete yet. I like that. Hey, thank you a lot. Mm. Mm. Is this your kid, brother? Just friends. We adopted each other on the road. How about a sip of the grape? It goes good with bologna. Thank you. Too good at this. <laughs> thank you. Oh, boy. Okay, thank you. Take that away. Huh. <laughs> oh, James. Come here. Come on. Let me show you how to do it. So I got a big degree in business administration. Stock up and saw my folks in Chicago. Sold my wheels. Now I go to work. So, uh, I thought businessmen had to have a car. Uh-uh. Not my job. How are you going to drive to work? I got myself a gig on a lobster boat in Maine. You're kidding. Uh-uh. <laughs> right. Hey, Tyre, you know, uh, Vermont is on the way to Maine, right? Right. Well, if we can make it to outside Brattleboro, um, I know a place where we could crash tonight. Okay. I got some friends who have a big old house outside of town. A commune? Well, uh, they grow some measly vegetables and they wear those T-strap overalls. They like to call it a farm, so I hear room. <laughs> well, they got room for all of us. Are we just gonna walk all the way or are we gonna get a ride? Hey, James, we're going to get a ride, okay? Tiger and I were just talking. Right? Come on. One okay. last mm. dunk. Another one for me, huh? One more. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good meal makes me want to lie down. John, it'd be okay if we stay the night, won't it? It's all right for you and your friend, but the kid can't stay. What do you mean? The kid can't spend the night. Jonah, we've got room. We were busted once for a crop we were growing, and we can't afford to be busted again. For what? For hiding out an underage runaway kid. Look, I'll say he's my brother. They won't believe you. They'll ask for proof. Help. That's okay, Robin. I got my gear. Jonah, we can't put people out in the night. I'm sorry, Sarah. We can't risk it. Hey, James! Wait a minute. Sarah, could you... Cut us off a couple of pieces of that cornbread. James and I get these unbearable fits of hunger right in the middle of the night. Look, um, James and I are friends. I'm going to stay with him till daylight, all right? I'll fall back by in the morning. Oh, no, you don't. You'll wind up taking the kid to Disneyland and I'll never find you. Oh. Thanks a lot. It was real fine. Thank you. Oh. Bus stations may be a good place to catch a wink, but uh, the air is really polluted. I'm going to go.
get some fresh stuff, okay? Uh -huh. Are you falling for that guy? I don't know, maybe. You were gonna stay with him, though. Well, I like him a lot. I thought you liked me a lot, too. I do, James, but that's in a different way. We're friends. Tiger and I might be lovers. Oh. <laughs> but I can't predict the future. But if I feel that it's right, if I feel it would be a good thing for both of us, that we both care about each other and understand each other, then I might stay with him. Just for a night? Oh, just because something doesn't last doesn't mean it's ugly. It can be beautiful. I wish I was Tiger. Hey, you just be yourself. Start worrying about making some of your own decisions. What do you mean? Well, I mean, like, you have to decide whether you're really going to go to Canada and maybe get busted for trying to cross a border being underage. Then maybe you get across, you got to roam around a whole huge country without a single friend. Or whether you're going to uh, go back to Boston, live with your family, and finish school. Yeah, Boston's the pit. Hey, Boston is a beautiful city. If you just give it a chance, city's like a person. You have to get to know it. You've got the perfect way. You'd only use it. What? Your camera. Look, you could use that camera as a passport to go everywhere. You could really see things, you know? You could sneak around, be a spy, you know? You can really get to know the city. Yeah. And then I'd have to go home and listen to my parents cry and get so mad that they make each other cry. Yeah, well, I heard it for years till my parents finally split up. At least you stayed together, didn't they? Sure they did. At least... The last time I was there. You don't think they'd actually go and do anything like that, do you? Well, it happens in the best of families. Robin. Hmm. What am I going to do? I can't tell you, James. Nobody can. You have to figure it out. Going to be first light soon. Got to hit the road. Yeah. Come on, kid. Got to get moving. Nope. I'm staying here. Good luck, kid. Stay fast on your feet. Hey, look, James. This will get you a bus ticket to Boston or almost to the Canadian border. Here. So long. Robin? Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll pay you back as soon as I get a job. And I'll get one. I mean, I had a job back in Oregon. I loaded groceries. Look, you write me a college, okay? Let me know which way you went. Yeah. Bye. Bye.
Why I see a word mean ancient beast of burden? Well, don't let her cheat. Shut up, James. You're not playing. James. Thank God. James, am I glad to see you? Where in the hell have you been? I, I, I demand full amnesty. James Hunter? Yes? Hi, I'm Mrs. Larson, and this is the Learning Center. Yeah, I know. I guess I'm a loser, huh? What kind of a crazy idea is that? I've seen your grades from Oregon. Besides, you look pretty sharp. So do you. Now tell me, what was your favorite course out in Oregon? Well, my favorite was a history class where we studied World War II. Well, you're way ahead of us here. Our sophomores are only up to the Boston Tea Party. No kidding. No. Now tell me, what are some of your other favorite subjects? Well, I like photography. I took a lot of pictures in Oregon. And... Hey, Roland. Hey, where's the swim coach? Right over there. The one making all the noise. Yep, that's right. Hey, hey, hey. You finally gonna get a little wet today? Hey, maybe you'll set the record for staying underwater. Hey, <laughs> hi. We're running some time trials here. Feel up to it? Well, I'm a little out of shape, but I'll try. Okay, good. Come on, I need some bodies over here. This is practice, you guys. Come on. Bobby, Harry. Swimmers up. Take your marks. my deep sympathy to the families and nations of those who drowned in an effort to pass me in this final race. Next, I would like to thank my coach, whose instruction and inspiration have made all this possible, Coach Melo Larson. Coach? I have an announcement of my own. My husband, understanding and respecting my personal feelings, has granted me a no-fault divorce. James is of no fault either. It was just something that was meant to be. And now, I am free to become Mrs. James Hunter. No walking stick, he don't need no ball. 